Hey everyone, so I text Lex my new growth in my last video and this is going to be my wash day and I'm just showing you guys how it looks so let's get started. So I gelled my hair up into a bun and I wore it like this for an entire week. This was such a quick and easy protective hairstyle but now it's time to take it down and it's time for wash day. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I'm going to be using for today's wash day and I made sure to shampoo my hair twice because of the gel that was in my hair. Now this is how my hair looks like with the conditioner applied. I'm gonna let this sit for about five to 15 minutes. And I'm gonna be using this blow dryer today. This is the first time that I'm going to be using it. It's the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. And it intrigued me because I saw it on somebody's channel and it's a brush and it's a hair dryer. So here are some of the details of the products that are labeled. They're the same on the side. So my first impressions when I took this thing out the box was that it was huge. I felt like this was like super big. It's pretty and I like that it's pink and it has a big ergonomic handle. It has a cool low and high temperature. And I just set this next to this vase where you can see how big it is in comparison. Like it's big. Here's what it looks like up close, letting you see what the bristles in the inside looks like. Here's the air intake, and it also comes with some little instructions. So now that I'm done shampooing and deep conditioning my hair, I'm ready to move on to the prepping of my hair before I get ready to blow dry. The shampoo and conditioner did a good job of making my hair feel soft and moisturized. So my ball spot is still here and I'm working on it. My black Jamaican castle oil finally came in the mail. So I'm just going to put a little on this area and massage it in really good. Try to do this a few times a week. And now I'm going to get ready to detangle my hair. From here on out, I'm going to start detangling my hair in sections. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just sectioning my hair off because that's going to minimize breakage. And I definitely don't want any more breakage or pulling on my hair. So I'm going to start with this back section first. This is what I'm going to use for my leave-in conditioner and heat protectant. So I'm just going to spray my leave-in conditioner on really good. This helps to moisturize my hair. It also has protein in it, help build my hair. This heat protectant smells really good. I got this from Sally's. It helps to detangle my hair. And it also helps when you get ready to blow dry your hair or flat iron your hair. helps to protect it from the heat. So I'm actually going to take this one section and split it into two and detangle that first because I noticed I was catching some snags. <laughs> So I'm just putting this in front of my face to show you that it has a pretty good blower on it.
So I've actually been wearing my hair in flexi rods for the last few days. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my hair. But um, since I had already wore it in a bun last week, I decided to leave my hair loose and do a heatless style like this right here. So this is what my curls are looking like. The curls are tight right now, but they'll fall. Um, they'll fall by tomorrow. That's why I like to make mine really tight at first. It's like it'll make it last the whole entire week because each and every day is gonna fall and fall and fall, and then it'll just look it'll just really look like a pretty curly hairstyle. I was thinking about other protective hairstyles and low manipulation hairstyles that I could do. I was thinking about um using like I got some clip-ins so I was thinking about incorporating some clip-ins but the only thing I don't like about like I really don't like wearing my hair down in the winter in the colder months like with the flexi rise I don't mind as much because when your hair is curly it makes it shorter than normal so if I flat iron my hair my hair will be hanging down here rubbing against my jacket but um with the flexi rise it's kind of like up in the air so it doesn't rub against my clothes as much but like as far as the clip-ins like all my hair will be down and it'll be rubbing against my jacket and my coat so then i was kind of like thinking maybe not clip-ins right now until the weather warms up and then i was thinking about maybe like doing some wigs but at the same time i like my hair to be out and then i noticed like when i wear wigs like sometimes i get headaches so i don't know if it's because i be having a wig on too tight or the uh, stocking cap on too tight or if it's because but i just noticed like if i wear wigs like two days in a row or something like that i start getting a headache so I, I don't know like all i can think of right now is like my buns and my flexi rods if you got any ideas of what i could do to switch up my hairstyle so i don't get bored while i'm trying to grow out my my um texturized hair whatever but like, I'm still relaxed. Like, I, I've been having people be like, you going natural? Like, no, I'm not going natural. I'm still relaxed. I'm just not relaxing bone straight. So, that's the only difference. Like, on the on the wash days coming up, I'm going to be doing a hot oil treatment. I'm going to be doing, I also bought me a semi-permanent. Um, It's not a, a lot of people get confused about that because, like, permanent alters your hair semi-permanent just deposits color on your hair so it's like it's like if i write on my my um hand with a sharpie it's gonna be that black mark for a few days but the more that i wash my hand it's just gonna fade away so that's the same thing semi-permanent it's just like it's a strong it just deposits color and then it fades away with each, with each wash there was also one more product that i wanted to try it was it's like a root spray that somebody had suggested to me for my little spot in there but i hadn't tried it yet so i was like wanting to make a dedicated video or i'll just incorporate it in my wash day video i wanted to do that right now my little area is still there i think it's gonna take some weeks for that to go back out simply because of the fact that it came out from the roots it's not like it just broke off it like literally came out of the sockets in the roots so i guess it's gonna take a while to regenerate those follicles mm -hmm. and like create new strands to actually start coming out of the follicles but i've been um putting my jamaican black castor oil and rubbing it i need to put some on that today but um other than that that is my wash day if you guys enjoyed this make sure to leave a thumbs up and if you have any questions or comments just let me know thanks for watching